Good morning, Cam Brar for Cam's Mortgage Minute for Wednesday, June 20th. Uh, today I'm just going to talk to you briefly about the Bank of Canada. They recently weighed in on the consumer indebtedness and their opinions on it. Here are what the uh, folks at the Bank of Canada came up with. They figured that the household uh, households remain exposed to interest rate risk. However, the biggest damage would be to vulnerable households would come if there was a significant decline in house prices and or a sharp deterioration in labor market conditions. In other words, what they're saying is that the houses that are already vulnerable to this kind of pressure uh, would feel it even more so if the house prices fell and the unemployment rate went up. Well, you know what, I'm not a genius here, but I'm thinking that's pretty easy to figure out if house prices are falling and unemployment rates are going up, we're not in a pretty picture at that point. They were also saying that household housing as an asset now accounts for 40% of Canadians' net worth, up from 34% 10 years ago. Well, that makes sense considering that house prices have, quick, have risen and risen, and that for most folks, their house is their single biggest asset. The other thing that they were talking about that was of interest was that the arrears, mortgage arrears, have never really been much over 1%, and anything north of 1% would be considered extreme. When we had that crisis in 1983, and a lot of you might be too young to remember it, but the arrears rate went up to 1.02, and that was when interest rates basically went overnight to the 20 plus club. Of course, housing prices were lower, so they weren't as much of an impact, but rates of 20% certainly were extreme. So, what is the Bank of Canada saying? They're saying, well, if you have lower debt, you're less at risk for these things if they do occur. Well, you know, again, I'm not a genius, but it kind of makes sense to me. I've been harping on folks forever, reduce your debt, reduce your debt. Restructure, work towards paying off this debt. That's the bottom line. And I don't need the Bank of Canada or anybody else to tell me that. And I think most of you don't need that. You can look at your own personal budget and see where things are going. How many times have I talked to you about folks that I deal with that make 100, 150,000 a year, yet they have nothing to show for it? That's because they don't plan, they don't save. We have to be looking at these things, and we got to be focused on getting debt gone. That's the bottom line. Eliminate debt, less of your money is being servicing, uh, servicing this debt, that's more money freed up for your retirement savings and all those other wonderful things. Anyway, it's been Cam for Cam's Mortgage Minute. I just thought I'd share with you the latest uh, information from the Bank of Canada. Enjoy your day.